this new age of filmmaking has changed drastically 20 years ago it used to be tiresome work and required bulky and big camera setups which required two to three man crew which is true today as well but what about indie filmmakers or run and gun kind of filmmakers they used to use a 8mm camera or a camcorder they used to produce pretty terrible quality by today's standards but today's scene has changed a lot the technology has upgraded so much that the phone cameras which you and I carry in our pockets has the power to shoot feature films which are actually released in big theaters and if you look at mirrorless cameras like this A7 IV which I have can capture such a great image which wasn't possible a decade ago camera makers succeeded in making such a small compact camera but with great technology comes great sacrifice in the efforts of making small cameras, the ergonomics started to suck. For example, Sony cameras are so small that you can't even hold them properly with your hands. But what's the solution to this odd problem? A camera cage. This cage solves a lot of problems and more. First thing it fixes is the small factor issue. It makes the body much more friendlier to your hands and I feel amazing while holding it. It gives me much more confidence while I'm shooting and when I attach heavier lenses to the whole kit, it becomes much more uh, balanced and it becomes easier for me to handle it. Second thing it does is it adds weight to your camera setup and when you add weight to your camera setup, the center of gravity shift towards your camera. It helps you increasing stability while you are shooting those handheld movements, which makes your shot less shaky. Third thing is it adds mounting options, which is probably the greatest advantage of having a camera cage, which all filmmakers appreciate. You can mount camera handles, monitors, extra handles, V-mount batteries, whatever you need and build a whole rig according to your needs. I personally like to add a top handle to the rig because it allows me to get those low down shots and when I'm not taking a shot or when I'm on standby I can move the camera easily. With that it adds two more mounting options where I can mount my monitors in different orientation when I'm shooting in horizontal or when I'm shooting in vertical. Second thing I like to have on this rig is the side handle which allows me to have much more broader and firmer grip to the whole setup. This is an advantage which is really underrated in my opinion. It adds so much to my filmmaking experience. The camera rig allows you to mount your gimbal base plate to the side of your camera and you can mount your camera on the gimbal vertically. So how is this different from using the vertical mode on your gimbal? Well, when you are shooting in vertical mode on your gimbal, the gimbal goes in flashlight mode, which is DJI's fancy word of using it in a hard and uh, difficult way. But sometimes when I'm shooting tracking shot of a car or a bike from back of the car trunk, it's really hard for me to hold it like that for longer time. So now I can just mount it like I mount horizontally on the gimbal. It makes my life so much easier. Moving on to the next advantage and it might not be the advantage for everyone. But yes, having a camera cage will give your camera protection from those dents and scratches which will cause over time when you are a rough user like me. Also because of the cage you will avoid using the hot shoe mount which is present on your camera and when you mount heavier monitors on your camera it does wear down your hot shoe and can damage your hot shoe mount. So with this cage you can just mount it on mounts which the cage has and you will be good to go. Last advantage which might be an aesthetic advantage to your setup but yes the look which your camera is going to get when you put the cage is completely different and trust me when you are shooting with a client and if the client sees a big camera he's probably going to get impressed. Well it shouldn't be your reason to charge him more but you can yes. So that's it for today guys, I hope you loved this video. If you want to buy this rig, this is the small rig advanced kit you can buy from the link in my description. If you like this kind of videos, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.